today I'm going to walk you through how to prescribe warfarin using ITLIP e-prescribing and its administration. So once I open a patient record, I will be in summary view. The first thing I'm going to do is look in the medication summary to see if there are any conflicting medications. And this patient currently has nothing prescribed. And then I'm going to navigate to orders. And I can see here that there's no known allergies in this patient. I'm just going to check if there's any warfarin plans already in place, in which case for this patient there isn't. And now I'm going to press add to open the orders add pane. The next thing I'm going to do is to search for warfarin. And um, select warfarin prescribing. At this point, I'm going to select the day, and today is Friday that I want the warfarin to start. Please note in the left hand pane, there's an area, um, area called related results. In here, you would find information if there was a recent INR for the patient, for example, or if there was weight documentation. So I select my day, which is Friday. If I wanted to admit the dose, I could also select this section here. Just to draw to your attention some other things within the plan, there are two reminder tasks that will go to the pharmacy task list and to the medical and nursing task list. There is information below on excessive INR dosing, so if the patient's INR rises above a certain amount, um, you can navigate back to this plan to get information on how to deal with that. There's also a pathology order if I wanted to add prothrombin time and INR for the lab and a discharge checklist. So I'm going to go ahead and place my order for this patient's warfarin. I press orders for signature. I will be presented with a form that's going to ask me to document the indication. In this case, the patient is using um, it for a mitral valve, so I'll select that indication. There's a table below which gives information on the most the common target INR. So in this case, the trust standard is 2.5 to 3.5. And then the duration, you can either type a number, for example, three and then months, or if it's indefinite, indefinite, just do a dash and change this to indefinite. There is space below to enter the patient's anticoagulant clinic if it's known. That would help with communication and discharge for your colleagues. You can also enter a telephone number, for example. You can also document risk factors for anticoagulation, if there are any in this box. And you must then choose whether to use a loading regime or if it's continuation of therapy. You can get information on the left-hand side and other medications the patient is taking. In this case, none. And also, under warfarin dosing, is some diagrams which outline which loading regime we should be using. In this patient, there are no risk factors. Therefore, we're going to use loading regime A. The INR is um, 1.4 or below, so I'm going to be giving this patient a 10 milligram dosage. So I'll document that I'm using loading regime A and sign off this form by pressing this tick button. So I'll enter my bleep number, document my dose, and then I'm going to press sign. I refresh the screen, I'll see that the orders that I've placed for this patient is warfarin 10 milligrams weekly Friday for today. 
I can navigate to medication summary, just refresh the screen, and I will see that I now have a prescription for warfarin. The system now automatically generates a warfarin prescribing reminder, which will sit on the medication administration record. Okay, so this is for a patient who is starting warfarin for the first time. Now let's look at a patient who is already on warfarin. So in this case, I can go to assessment and OBS. I can go to adult medication monitoring and I can click on the warfarin monitoring section. And what this is actually going to show is the INR range that's a target, the loading regime that's in use. It will also show what warfarin doses have been administered. And these three boxes here will show any lab results for INR or any point of care testing that the nurse may have used to gather an INR for the patient. The dose adjustment table has a hyperlink, which also shows the loading regime information. If you want to look at what dose adjustment should be made based on the INR that's been presented. If you want to go back beyond 24 hours, you can right click on this blue banner bar here and do last, 20, last 72 hours, for example, or you can right click and change it to other clinical range and change the dates and times that you wish to see. So now I've reviewed the patient's um, recent doses that have been administered and also their current INR, I can navigate back to the order screen. As always, good practice to check the allergies. This patient has allergies, so I'm going to press the dialog button and I'll see that they've got an allergy to codeine. I'm going to look at my medication orders that are active. So I can see this patient's um, being prescribed 10 milligrams of warfarin for Friday, and 5 milligrams for Saturday. If I wanted to add in an order for the Sunday, for example, <coughs> I would look to the left to see if there's an active warfarin plan in use. And to do that, you need to go into the plan section, press the plus button beside it, look under the medical plans, and look for a warfarin that's in a status of initiated. You can open that, press the view excluded components button, which looks like two light bulbs. And then from here, you can Take the, the new data you want to prescribe for. You'll be presented with the information that we've used before, that someone else has documented. So this patient's on this for a below knee DVT, and the target's 2.3. Press orders for signature and complete the information. Again, don't forget that in related results, you can see INR information as well if you need it at this point. So we can sign that off. A new feature of Warfarin, which has been based on feedback, is a mechanism to reduce the number of tasks that fire into the individual's lists. So if I forget to check that there's already a plan in use, and I search for warfarin and add a new plan and order the dose for the Sunday. Taking me through the form and entering in dosing information and pressing sign. What we're actually going to get now is some decision support to say that those reminder orders already are in place. If you do see this, if you press remove and remove, this will remove those duplicate orders and let you proceed with that dosing. As always, it's good practice to review the orders afterwards when navigating to the med summary to ensure you haven't duplicated. 
Once that's also completed, the task that will be found under Medical should also be signed off, much like the VTA by recording, right click, record done. That concludes the presentation on Warfarin. If you have any questions, please do contact us at iclipepma at stgeorges.nhs.uk. Thanks for listening.